Welcome. Thank you for joining Happy and Better TV. We're so happy to have you with us today. And as usual, we've got great information that's going to make you feel motivated and encouraged. Our first guest today is Mr. Charles Gordon of Public Image Consulting. How are you today? I'm doing wonderful. Good, good. Doing wonderful. What are some of the areas that po uh, Positive Image Consulting covers? Well, we cover a vast number of areas. Uh, we help corporations and companies form nonprofit. We help the nonprofits also expand their businesses uh, into being able to get donations, charitable events. Um, we also work with people in helping them establish their credit and to purchase homes if they're first time home buyers. Uh, and Positive Image was derivative out of Positive Image Life Changing Ministry, uh, where we created this program uh, called Positive Image Life Changing Ministry for a positive image for a lifetime for our young people. And out of that positive image, consulting came in order to create an image for our young people to go forth. How beautiful, because so many times young people that don't have parents or people around them growing up, they don't get the information about how to establish themselves as a good citizen with good credit and mobility, actually, the True. ability to accomplish the things they want in life. Now, I know one of the major things you guys do is you set up for-profit corporations and non-profit corporations. Is that right? True. Yes, we do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, tell us, if you would, a general difference between the two. The difference between a non-profit and for-profit is just what is a for-profit or a company or organization or LLC is to be able to sustain a profit through your business. Nonprofits come in three categories, churches, uh, charitable sessions or charitable organizations, and in ministries. Um, a lot of churches, you know, they have the Britain, like the mosque, the Christian, those are churches or uh, come under church uh, nonprofit. Then you have charitable organizations like Salvation Army, the Boy Scouts, they're charitable. And then you have organizations like ministries who actually do social work you know, in the community where they're establishing these nonprofit organizations to help young people find jobs, uh, to help women with children, to help youth in different youth programs. So we look more at helping people to establish these kind of programs uh, and businesses as nonprofits and for profit. Now, if you're looking to make a lot of money, you're not looking at a nonprofit. Okay. okay? Uh, it is just that most of what is given is put back into the organization uh, to continue to do the services that need to be provided to the communities. One of the things that you said that I simply love, you called a nonprofit a ministry. Mm -hmm. And that is so beautiful because uh, when a person has a feeling or they see something that they feel should be changed or improved, then that might be a reason for them to look into a nonprofit? That's correct. Uh, ministry comes from the Greek word. Uh, it's a Greek word which really means to serve. Mm -hmm. All right, and so in order to create the nonprofit ministry, you're providing a service to serve the community. And that's what we really look forward to, really helping people establish these nonprofit organizations to m better serve the community more so. So if a person uh, has, feels compelled and say that they want to help veterans or they want to help uh, single parents, as you mentioned, then they could develop this idea and maybe you could help them turn it into a nonprofit? Correct. Um, it's all about a vision. You well know the Bible says where there is no vision, people perish. And it's about people having a vision to what it is that you want to do to provide a service to your community. Or, or your, you know, your city or town, and that's what we look for. We look for people who have a vision, and they see a need. You know, like youths, uh, gang violence, uh, kids coming out of aftercare, different programs like that. Um, we look for people who are really interested in providing these services to the community. Wonderful, wonderful. It's a win-win. Right. The person feels vindicated in that they're expressing their desire to help others, and of course those that are helped 
feel better. Right. Th this is so wonderful. Uh, with this, what are some of the types of nonprofits you have started? Uh, we started a youth, uh, women who were in crisis mm. in Baltimore, Maryland, where the women who were in abusive relationships, we created homes for them where they can come in and start all over. We worked with ex-offender programs mm. where we created uh, businesses and actually had the churches donate some of their services and talents. Mm -hmm. Like uh, a lot of the people who came in to train painting and electrical with guys who came out of the churches that own their own businesses nice. and wanted to give back to the community. So they helped train a lot of these men and women in different types of services. So, and then we do the educational part of helping young people that have a desire to want to go to college or, mm -hmm. you know, to go into the armed forces or different things like that or create their own business. It sounds wonderful. It really, I keep getting the feeling that it's like an extended family available, you know, because sometimes kids are on their own for various reasons. Sometimes they have no, no family, no extended family, but they could come to your organization and get that support and get that guidance that would help them develop their leadership skills. What are some of the uh, advantages, just generalizing, of a nonprofit? Giving back to the community is number one. Yes, uh, yes. And better the community and bettering the people in the community mm -hmm. is one of the biggest van advantages of having a nonprofit. Um, it is tax exempt as a 501c3, which is uh, IRS regulated. Um, but most of the work is being done through the community and giving back to the community. And we really, really press a lot of that, of being able to, if you receive something, be able to give something back to the community. Mm -hmm. And I think with these kind of programs and social programs, they help better our communities a lot better. That's great. So basically, is it that if someone has a passion or a vision to help others in some way, they may well qualify for a nonprofit? Is it that easy? <laughs> well, it's not that easy, but it's easy, you know, my, my goal is, you tell me you, you're wanting to do something for the community or kids or women in crisis, my goal is to help you. All right. In any means necessary, uh, by any means necessary, because I believe that is my calling that God has given me to be able to help people, but the vision has to come from you. Mm hmm all right, and to what your passion is, and then you, you mop out the vision, and I put it on paper for you. Okay, And good. so we move forward to there, and putting the paperwork together, uh, getting it done through IRS and, and to the state, and uh, once you started that, you can actually start to do a nonprofit organization, and a lot of them are tax exam, where people who donate to the organization is a tax write-off, so if you know people who are in the community, like churches, uh, different companies, 7-Eleven. We had 7-Eleven donate. We had furniture stores donate, you know, to need, you know, depending on the need. Um, you have casinos in here that are more than willing to do. We had MGM donate to a program that we did at the Doolittle Center. Yeah. So, you know, you have a lot of people who are willing to donate. And actually, I think most people want to give. I think one of the misconceptions uh, is that sometimes we feel that we don't have enough to give. We think we have to have millions to give, and that's not necessarily true, is it? Not at all. Like I said, some of the people that we got to come in and help us in the programs gave their time mm -hmm. and donated their time. They didn't have to donate money. We had an electrician who was a certified electrician come in and teach the guys how to be electricians and working on some of the jobs with him. So it's, even if you just give your time, it's not always money, monetary, but sometimes people come in and give their time, even like with the Salvation Army, all right? A lot of times those are volunteers that come in and help because they see a need, so. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Is there anything you want to say to encourage others to think about nonprofits as we say goodbye? Yeah, I just want to encourage people. When we hear ministry, we think church. And I want to just mean to let you know that ministry is a, to provide a service. And if you're looking to want to do a ministry, we're more than willing to help those and helping them encourage and showing them and guiding them in the right way to create their ministries, um, to provide this service to the, your community or your city. So that's one of our goals. We really want to expand that out this year, really helping 
ministries and charitable organizations do a lot more work than what needs to be done in the community. I'm glad to hear that because I hear that as more one-on-one, uh, -on -one, people to people and getting directly to the people uh, and make sure things filter down to the individuals in a larger extent. And I am so thankful you're here. Mm -hmm. I know our audience appreciates this information and you spark their imagination and let them know it is all possible. And you know, one of the things we like to say on happyandbetter.tv is that if you really want to be remembered, you have to help somebody. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Thank you so much You're for welcome. joining us Thank and telling us me. about the Positive Image Consulting Company. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, that's it for this time. We hope to see you again very soon. Bless you.